Good morning, my friends. It's Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome on my channel. I am going through my good midlife crisis where I am journeying through my 40s and I am working oh so hard to get my poop in a group. In order to do this, I have been working on my physical, my financial, and my mental health. If you are not new, welcome back. You may notice a distinct lack of babies this week and while I miss them it is very nice to be not as chaotic as I was last week um Megan can you hear me this week I hope that last week's video was quiet because I was having to lean away from the video from the microphone to check on baby Joe and jostle baby Jet and I had to keep getting up but um I'm hoping that because I am closer to my microphone this week, uh, y'all can hear me. If y'all can't hear me, please let me know. I may have to check my settings. Um, but hopefully y'all can hear me again this week. I am really glad that the microphone did its job and blocked out the background noise because I was very concerned, y'all. It was very, very loud if you were here last week. If you weren't here last week and you want to see two of the most adorable little boys ever, you should check out last week's video Fair warning, it was very chaotic. If you're here for the budgeting, don't don't waste your time. There wasn't much budgeting. It was mostly just me being distracted by babies. But um, I did manage to film a video. So welcome back. Uh, or welcome if you're new. Today, less chaos, more budgeting. Um, but we're here. It's Friday. Happy Friday. If you are a mother or in a position of taking care of children as a mother figure, I hope y'all had a fantastic Mother's Day weekend last week and you were spoiled and got to spend time with your families. Um, if you do not have a mother, I am sorry. I hope you were able to take care of yourselves and, um, and treat yourself and do something to pamper yourself. Um, because I know Father's Day is coming up and that is something that I am going to have to do for myself because I unfortunately do not have my father any longer. And so Father's Day is something that I, I, um, I try to focus on others when Father's Day comes around and like take care of Nathan because he doesn't normally get to spend Father's Day with his children. So I try to take care of him when Father's Day comes around, focus on other people, because I don't have my father to focus on. Um, so anyway, that's what I do. That's how I handle it. Anyway, if you are new, welcome. I'm Becky, I talk a lot. I will try to put some timestamps as to where my actual budget will start. If that's what you're here for and that's all you're interested in seeing, that's totally cool. I understand. There will be timestamps so you can skip ahead to just the budget if that's all you want to see. Um, otherwise, let's catch up. I did allude last week to the fact that I had some new things to talk to y'all about. But it was so chaotic, I didn't have time to get into them last week. So, I told you my check engine light was on and Nathan was going to be looking at my car for me last week. He did, and I drive a Kia Soul. And the check engine light was on because I, we figured that it was the, um, I needed to get my spark plugs, not spark plugs. We already did that. The fuel injectors, they needed to be either cleaned or replaced, preferably replaced. And I have the replacement spark. I keep saying spark plugs, fuel injectors. I have their fuel injector replacement, but I, we couldn't get the manifold off because there was like hidden screws and we got all the ones we could find. We got them all taken off, but we couldn't get the manifold off. And we're like, there's hidden screws somewhere. So he watched the video. I took his car in to take the voice to my mom and to Cindy. And um, he, he was watching videos. He called me. He's like, you're going to have to take it in because apparently the, the last two screws are underneath the engine. And unless you have like one of those lifts where you can lift the car up, the only way to do it is to take the entire skirt off of the car and take like all the stuff off and they're underneath and he's like I can do it it's gonna be a lot of work and I was like it's not worth it he called Firestone and they were like it'll be $150 I was like I would way rather just pay $150 and not have your frustration an entire day worth of work and possibly break something like I'd rather just pay 
somebody else to do it for $150. It was like way more expensive for them to replace the spark plugs. I keep saying spark plugs to replace the um, fuel injectors. And they wouldn't use the ones that we bought because we bought them from Amazon and they like came from China or somewhere. And they're like, we don't know that company, so we're not going to use them. And we're like, fair enough. Okay, that, that makes sense. So I was like, just clean them. That's fine. So Monday morning, took my car in, and then they called. And they're like, "The we need to run a diagnostic, and that's going to be another $150. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do you need to run a diagnostic? I already told you what's wrong with it. I, you, you agreed to do this. And they're like, but without knowing what's wrong, we don't know if that will fix it. And I was like, but I told you what's wrong with it. I mean, it's my car. I ran a diagnostic. We have a, the code reader and it told us what was wrong with it. Nathan also went and bought a um, catalytic converter just in case that needed to be replaced. Um, but like just in the off chance that, that it didn't fix it and that needed to be replaced. But um we wanted to start with the less expensive thing. And they're like, but we don't know if that'll fix it. And I was like, okay, fine. Don't do the cleaning then and just run the diagnostic. And if it doesn't need the cleaning, if it needs a new catalytic converter or whatever, do that instead. And they're like, well, we already did the cleaning. And I'm like, well, then don't do the diagnostic check. Just do the cleaning. And they're like, well, we don't, we don't know if that'll fix it. And I'm like, what? So Nathan called them back. He talked to them for like 20, 30 minutes, whatever. Long story short, instead of $150, it was $300. And then they told him that I needed a new catalytic converter and it was going to be $1,200. And I was like, no, stop. No, I'm not paying you $1,200 for a $200 part. I'm not going to do it. Give me my car back. It went from $150 to $1,200 for this repair, and I'm not paying you for it. That is ridiculous. Give me my car. I'll come pay you for what you've done, which should have been $150 and is now $300. So I only had $150 in my car maintenance because that's what I thought it was going to be. So now I have extra money on my stinking American Express card, but I'll pay that off next month. And, uh... Whatever, I picked it up. My check engine light is still, was, it was still on. <laughs> and um, I picked it up. I was driving down the road. A big puff of white smoke came out of my car. I'm like, great, they broke my car. Because it wasn't doing that before. It was just rough idling. That's all it was doing. And sometimes the, like, tachometer would get stuck up at the, like, four mark when I was going at high speeds. That was what was happening. And so I was like, I oh, know, it just needs the, like, fuel injectors clean because it's not it's not hitting right i don't know enough about cars to know that but i know that plus google helps and um this is a long story about cars near here for budgeting so i totally understand if you're skipping this part that's cool anyway last night which was thursday night i decided to go to wine thursday which is just around the corner like it's all in my neighborhood i get in my car y'all my check engine lights not on and i'm like what? So oh, my check engine light's not on. So obviously this morning I had to test it out. I had to go for a drive. Plus I got an email from Dutch Brothers. And y'all don't know this about me because I never told you all this. But I had a cousin who actually had muscular dystrophy. And he passed. He, he did die of that. Um, he was diagnosed uh, at like three or four uh, and my, muscular dystrophy. And he progressed into, he was wheelchair bound for like most of his life and he died in his early 20s um, and they sent out an email from Dutch Brothers this morning and I did not know that one of the founding brothers after they founded Dutch Brothers um, was diagnosed with ALS and he died of that and so all a dollar of every sale today which is May the 17th if you're watching this today and you have a Dutch Brothers in your area and you're interested in participating in this sale in this donation one dollar of every sale today at Dutch Brothers 
goes to the Muscular Dystrophy Foundation. Um, and they are trying to find a cure for ALS. Now, my cousin did not have ALS, but he had muscular dystrophy, and apparently it's all in the same foundation. So a dollar of every sale today goes to the Muscular Dystrophy Foundation, um, which is what my thumbnail was. They get there, And you also get a sticker, which was just a bonus. Um, so, and then they have the, um, uh, it says, end ALS, and it says, thanks for helping. And Dutch Brothers, it says, drink one for Dane. That was the brother's name who passed away. That's not my cousin's name. That's the founding member of um, Dutch Brothers. And so I was like, what? It's a sign. I'm supposed to go down to Dutch Brothers. So I went to Dutch Brothers. I got my coffee. And um, I was like, it's perfect. I'll go test out my car. I tested. I drove down on the main road with like the stoplight stop and go to test it on the stop and go because that's when the puff of smoke came out. And then I drove home on the toll road because that's 75 miles an hour to see how it did when it gets at high speeds, because that's when it was getting stuck. My car is working great. My car is working fine. We're going to return the catalytic converter. That's $200 back. Nathan actually paid for that. He, I was going to pay him back for it, but fantastic. There's money I don't have to come up with. So wonderful news on that front. But I do have to come up with an extra $50 to um, put into my um, car maintenance fund, which is fine. That's fine. I put $50 a month in there anyway. What I have to fund this week, we're going to get into the actual budget. Oh, y'all, the other thing I want to update y'all on. Some people are not going to be happy with this. Some people are going to be cool. It's your life. Do whatever you want. I promised myself I wasn't going to do anything this year because I still have my um, my debt consolidation. My debt consolidation will be paid off in by December. It might be paid off before that, but it will be paid off by December at the latest, Lord willing, obviously, barring anything coming up. I think I'm going to go on a cruise next year. And it's, it's not going to be a cheap cruise. It's going to be a really nice cruise. I've put a deposit down. I can still back out, but I've put a deposit down. But I'm going to be 45 next year. And I turned 40 during COVID, so I couldn't celebrate 40. And that is when I, plus I was really broke because that's when I started my good midlife crisis. I didn't have any money in at 40. And I also lost my dad when I turned 40. So we were in lockdown because it was 2020. My dad was actively dying because my dad died at the end of August of 2020. And I, my, my birthday is in July. Um, 40 was not good for me. Um, but I will be 45 next year. So for my 45th birthday, this is not why we're doing it, but that's why I'm justifying it to myself. We're thinking of doing a cruise, a European cruise. Um, it's on Princess. It's going to go from Spain. It'll go to Gibraltar. It'll go to Rome. Not Rome, but Italy, somewhere in Italy. And then we're going to go around Italy for a couple of days. Um, I'm still not... I've, I've, put a crew, I've put a deposit down. I've got my room on hold. There's going to be about six of us so far that are going. And that'll help with like... Um, expenses afterwards that we can split airbnbs or whatever when we're there and it gives me a like over a year to save for everything and i'm really excited about it but i'm also really nervous about it and i have until next march to cancel with a hundred percent refund so right now right now i'm like cautiously excited but I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to see what I can move around. I'm going to look at my finances. But I wanted, I want, I really, really want to do this. But I also really, really want to be realistic about it. Um, and I, I legitimately thought about not, just not mentioning it. But I don't want to hide anything. I want to be transparent. I want to be, I always want to be fully honest with y'all about everything I'm doing. So um, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to um, create a, category in here. I haven't even started doing that yet because my life has been absolutely chaotic the last couple of weeks, but that's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, 
the only thing I have done right now is put a deposit down and that's it. It's just a hundred dollars. So that's it. But I am really excited about it. And I had such an amazing time on my last cruise and I loved it. I loved it. Um, and it's kind of like a once in a lifetime bucket list thing to do Europe. I've never been to Europe. I've never been anywhere. Until my last cruise, I'd only ever been to Canada. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, tell me what y'all would do. What would you do? If you were me, what would you do? I don't have kids. I don't have a mortgage. It's. I mean, I don't know. What would you do? Anyway. Okay, now. Now I'm going to start budgeting. It is 747, so, but I don't have a lot to budget. I only have three bills and then my usual, and I don't actually even have to put any ecclesial expenses because we don't have the room this week. We're just going to zoom in. Um, that, so I am just, I only have a couple of things to budget. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to pause and shrink myself up into the corner. I remember that without the sticky. I don't have my sticky. Oh, there's my sticky. I was like, I don't even know where my sticky is. There's my there can't they can't see sticky. If you're new, this is because I used to always forget to shrink myself up into the corner. Um, and so if you're new, I can't see me right now. I see my full budget. I can see my full screen. I can't see myself. Um, and so I would forget that y'all can't see my screen. You can see me. And so I would always forget to pause and uh, shrink myself. And then I would record entire videos where you couldn't see a thing that I was doing. <laughs> and so anyway, um, all right, I will be right back and we will get started. Yeah. Oh, I'm all the way at the bottom. I need to go to the top. All right, for dining out, I did really well. I only ate out once this week. What did I even do? Oh, I picked up lunch on my way in to see my mom. I picked up lunch. This wasn't even for me. I picked up lunch for my mom and the boys because I can't eat at McDonald's. Um, that's the only dining out I did this week. So I didn't dine out at all. Okay. So the groceries. Ooh, I spent a lot of money on groceries. And I signed up for a Walmart Plus membership um, <clears throat> right after I filmed that last video. I was going to do delivery. And it was like $15 to get delivery for groceries from Walmart and it was $50 to do a Walmart Plus membership for an entire year. And I was like, that's actually not a bad deal. And it came with a Paramount Plus membership and like free shipping on all the stuff. And I was like, it's only an extra like $35. So that's like in two more deliveries for an entire year. So I just signed up for the whole membership for the membership for the year because they had like 40% off the membership. How I do my weekly budgets, this is like cash envelopes is I give myself $40 for dining out every week. I give myself $100 for groceries every week, $10 for fun money, $80 for ecclesial expenses usually, except I'm not doing that this week, and $25, woo, don't do that, $25 for coffee, which is my Dutch Brothers. That is it. That's all I need to fund for this section. Um, and then we'll go fill the bills and that's it. When I get my YouTube check, which should be next week, I'll come back and we'll fill that. I should be getting $116 from YouTube because y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, but a hundred percent of that is going to taxes and to pay off my American Express card. So that's not going to be very exciting. Um, I'm going to put 20% toward taxes and then everything else is going to go toward my American Express. So um, I'm not going to film that, but just know that, that when that check comes in, that's what we're going to do with that money. So um, I am going to go down to my bills. So this right here, Planet Fitness, is just due today. So that's why it's showing as red. It's not actually overspent. It hasn't come out of my checking account yet. So $27.11. My internet is due on the 23rd. That is $65.45. And what else? This only goes through the 23rd. That's it. Mattress Firm. Mattress Firm is my mattress. That is due on the 21st, and that is $80. That's it. That is all I have to pay, y'all. 
everything else. This $1,223.89 is going to go into my next week, $1,223.89. We'll be here for next week. When we come back to budget next Friday, I will have this money and then I will have another paycheck and that's it. That will be the fourth week of May. Told y'all I didn't have a lot to budget this week. I had more updates than I did budget. Um, I am, yeah. Oh, I was like, I have more on here. That's my American Express and taxes. That's for my, uh, when I get my, my YouTube check. So what I do, if you are new, is I make a plan for my money in the budget by paycheck book by the budget mom. So you can see I had my rollover. I closed it out last week or last night. And then I have my bills. I write them out what they're due and my weekly. And then here is what I'm going to do, my American Express and my taxes. And that's this is my plan for my check. And then this right here, what you are seeing is YNAB. It's you need a budget. This is how I digitally cash stuff my paycheck, my finances, my money when I get it. So instead of pulling the money out of the bank and putting it into physical envelopes. I leave the money in the bank and I put it into digital envelopes. These are my envelopes. They're just digital. Um, so this is my emergency fund envelope. Instead of having cash and putting it into an envelope and putting it in a safe in my closet, I leave the money in the bank, in the safe in the bank, and I put it in an envelope here in YNAB. Here's, this is for my great nephew, Joe. This is for my great nephew, Jet. This is for my taxes. So it's all in here in an envelope. It's just in the bank. I don't have it in my house, so nobody can break in and steal it. I can't break in and spend it because I'm really bad with cash. If this looks interesting, there is a description, a link in the description box. You can try this out if you want to. It will get you 34 days for free. No obligation. You don't put any credit card information in. They can't charge you if you stop doing it and forget to cancel it. Um, but if you do like it, at the end of that 34 days, if you've signed up for it, you'll get an additional 30 days. So you get 64 days for free, and then they will give me 30 days for free for a thank you for sending you their way. So everybody gets YNAB, everybody gets a budget, and it's a fantastic deal. Um, but again, if you don't like it, you just stop signing in and it goes away, and they can't charge you because you haven't put any credit card information in. Y'all? It is 7.55. We went over everything. We had a really good chat. There, there's no chaotic babies. I'm sorry that there were no babies, but I don't have any babies. Um, okay. I love you. I hope y'all have a fantastic weekend. Happy birthday to Kay and to JJ. I love y'all, and I will see you both tomorrow because um, it's their birthdays. And I am going to go call my mom and uh, get ready for work. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. Please don't forget to check out my website and my links below. And I will talk to y'all next week. Bye, guys. Stop it. Bye.